Uh, Let's segue to uh, you know to the main topic. All right, like all right, the, uh, last week, uh, you know, we were talking about uh, uh, watching what you say about kids. All right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, and uh, you know, before we actually segue and stuff like that, uh, last night, you know, I I would I had my uh, I was coaching my fighters like that, and there's kids fights. Okay. Right? Like that. Uh, they had about four or five kids fights like that, ranging from nine to thirteen. How do you feel about kids uh, uh, fighting that age? Um, you know, I think that as long as you take the right precautions, it, it can be okay. I think that the refs have to be extra paying mm-hmm. attention to them because, you know, some kids are just, uh, I don't want to say too dumb, but they're so tough. Like they like they don't want to quit. They mm-hmm. don't know that. Yeah, they're they don't, trying to make mommy and daddy happy. Yeah, they don't or, realize yeah, that yeah. they're like, like yeah, the room is spinning a little bit. Like, bro, you're probably concussed. Concussed. <laughs> you know okay, what I'm saying? Like, I'm happy you said that because that's why I'm a hundred percent against it. Yeah, like right? they like they don't understand what's going on. Like, so, yeah, yeah, I like I'm for sports for for kids. All right, right. But those sports like you know where like this, you know, we're doing a more type event, boxing event, football because that's one. Like anything that's a hundred percent contact. You know where these kids that their brains are still developing all right you know like that i'm a hundred percent against it you know right and so i know if my son mateo you know you know starting out training at five six years old then he's you know 10 11 12 and he comes up hey dad i want to do that i'm like nah not yet we're not doing that all not right? yet yeah you know let, let's wait until you know for me my, my age of uh for them is about 16 18 you know, to really start better in, age, like, better age. Yeah. Better you age. know, a lot more mature age, you know, they, they're really coming in and, uh, you know, uh, as for development wise, you know, right. brain development, muscle development, you know, like that, you know, uh, for sure. You know, so if they're starting at five, six, you know, then they're actually competing, you know, and, and you know, in full on contact sport like this, uh, then, you know, you're, you're talking about a good year, uh, you know, 10 to 12 years of experience right? for them to really understand, you know, the severity of, of, of what, what they're doing. What's going on. And that, yeah, because, yeah, again, yeah. you know, yeah, like some of these kids, they're just, you know, just winging punches. I was seeing it, seeing it last night. They're just winging punches and kicks, punches and kicks like that. I saw one kid, you know, freaking uh, bloody nose, you know, freaking in the, after the first round like that. They're just, you know, freaking just firing off, you know what I mean? Right. And I, I'm like. I like, I understand the culture, all right, right, and where it comes from, okay, especially in the Muay Thai, right? especially in Muay Thai, where they're five or six, they're yeah. pro fighters. <clears throat> yeah, you know, <laughs> but let's think about why at five or six they're pro fighters. Because they're right? in Thailand, <laughs> they're <laughs> in a third world country. All right, the freaking it's crazy to think that a five six year old is the bread winner, winner for the house. One hundred percent. You know, like that. And 100%. these, and the, you know, like, and, and so the culture and what they see is like, oh, you know, these kids are five, six years old. My son in America can do it too. Like, nah, your son in America is fucking, you know, has $10 in his pocket and is fucking 10, to- 10 times richer than these, the whole family itself. His stomach is not growling. Yeah, exactly. He's fine. These kids are fighting <laughs> for a different reason. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, like that. Uh, and so it, it, for me, that's why I just, I, I don't like, like that, you know? And right. I, I was seeing it yesterday and I was like, man, it's like, it's, it's a bit sad, you know what I mean, like that. And I'm all about this sport, you know. I love this sport and everything like that. But I feel like I'm like there's just better, you know, ways to really take care of your child, you know, like that. And so, what would you say, you know, to uh, to Jules or or Deuce, you know, they freaking uh, come to you one day and be like, hey, I want to, because like jujitsu is totally different, you know what I mean? It's, well, see, and see, that's the <clears> thing. Like, like I think about it, like with jujitsu, you can. You, with any sport, you can get a head injury, mm-hmm. but it's so far removed from being able to actually get a head injury in jujitsu. Yeah, 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 it's so far removed, like, and you know, broken bones are broken bones. But the refs in jujitsu mm-hmm. matches, like armbar, straight arm, they're tapping. Doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't even have to be a solid armbar. Like it just yeah, that that ref is like right there on the elbow, it, freaking ready to right, hold he, it. He's in ready. Place. He's yeah. ready to stop it. <laughs> yeah. Like like instantly, uh-huh. which is different because you know one depending on how you look at it, one wrong place punch or one well-placed punch, mm-hmm. and that, that could mean, like, 
that's a that's a serious ordeal. Hey, it's a reason that they say that everybody has a puncher's chance. Hey, everybody's everybody. got a puncher. Yeah. One, just mm-hmm. one punch put mm-hmm. in the right spot, and it could mean. And and we've seen the pro fighters mm-hmm. that have died after. Yeah, but you know they're all, and not just died after, but they've been on their feet. You know, get knocked out, get whatever, go back to the back, then end up having to go to the mm-hmm. so they. It's not until later yeah. that the, mm-hmm. the fa- and it's just uh, you know I yeah, hit the bag, move around, get some good pad work, yeah. But actually being even even light sparring with the right people, mm-hmm. but but actual competitive because I know how I am, mm-hmm. I know how you are. If we're gonna compete, we're gonna compete, yeah. Like we're we're gonna go balls out, like throw the elbow <laughs> at the fucking kids' lips. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, and I just I, I'm just not necessarily sure I'm ready for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's 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 different. I, I, you know, for me, I'm not I, I'm a hundred percent against it. I don't I don't like seeing it, and I want to support my child, you know, and doing what they want to do. But I'm like at the right time, right? You know, right. What I mean, we're not ready for that. I think you right. Know, you know that that's what my message would be to them and stuff like that. Right. 